So, Nintendo Direct. Yeah, honestly, I just kind of, uh, I mean, we've got about 10 minutes to talk about it while I also set things up, so, well, I did not think that Nintendo Directs would actually be a thing anymore. I kind of figured that'd be it. I mean, hell, maybe even for this Direct, they'll be like, this is the final Direct. Stop asking for it. Some, I don't know. I really don't know what to expect with this. Maybe some Zelda stuff. I mean, we've got Smash pretty much on the way. Perfect time for my face cam. Which, by the way, I still need to put on. Uh, I don't know what. I don't. That's. No. I don't know what. <laughs> I have for the. Hmm. I don't actually know how I'm going to set up my camera for this. Okay. No, I have an idea. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the hat. I'm going to go back to this. And then I'm just going to take the capture device, copy it. Take it to PC game. Uh, yeah, sure. And then I'll paste reference on there. There I am. Hi, that's me again. I don't have any sort of border for this, but honestly, I think it's just better if I overlay the reaction or my camera over this because I mean you know just in case just in case it gets like auto detected on YouTube or whatever it's better if I just have a webcam over it maybe stretch it out a little bit more stuff like that yeah, it's, it'll probably be fine But again, I really have no idea what to expect with this. I'm looking forward to it. The Direct is currently live. No music? Okay, cool. Alright. But as you can see from the shine that just went on my face, I have a big red screen in front of me. So that, t that tells you th that I have the live stream on my desktop ready to watch this once it goes live in about 8 minutes. In terms of things I would want, I... I don't know. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. I really don't know what I would want from this. Uh, I mean, kind of just the general stuff. I mean... I'll get it out of the way. A new F-Zero would be cool. Never gonna happen, but I mean, you know. It sucks that they said they're like they they they're not gonna do anything with F Zero because they couldn't think of anything cool or unique to do with it. And it's like you don't necessarily. It's like we haven't had an F Zero game with online, with HD, with any sort of motion controls. There's so much room for activity with that series. I just don't see what they mean by they can't think of anything to do with it. I mean, hell, it's been like 16 years since GX, maybe around then. Maybe longer, I don't know. You may as well just do something. But will they? I mean, the history of all these directs says no, but you never know. Do I actually think it's gonna happen? No. <laughs> nah, man, nah. I mean, maybe, because like we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, so they're like, and then with Mario Kart Tour, and since those are still doing well money-wise, they're like, okay, we don't want to do a new Mario Kart yet. May as well spend the time on an F-Zero. But I don't see that happening. I really don't. There. Window capture. How hard was that for you to do, Zeter? Alright, now... No, hey, hey, hey! 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 Okay, there we, there we go. So, for, I mean, six more minutes. Uh, something Zelda related would be cool. Uh, I mentioned I wanted to mention this for my Hyrule Warriors stream, but I feel like I feel like we're kind of close to getting like a Skyward Sword HD remaster. Not that I'm saying that's the thing I'd want the most. I'm just saying it's probably pretty likely. Okay.
And what I imagine what's going to happen with it is they'll be like, okay, here's the game. Now we've up it. We slightly alter the controls to make it work on a Switch. We added maybe one small bit of content. Maybe. Who knows? And we're going to release it for full price. I imagine that's what's going to happen. And people will be mad. And I mean, really. I don't know. I think it, I think it would be nice to have it on a more modern console, but... I feel like the, the problems I have with Skyward Sword that could be fixed would not be. So I'm more or less indifferent to it, but it, it would be cool. And uh, I might get it. I don't know. It would depend on how soon it comes out or how late it comes out. Because I'm not really in the market to be buying games right now. And continuing on with Zelda, or do I think anything with Breath of the Wild 2 is going to happen? Maybe. We might see something before any of the... I have teeth, by the way. Before any of the stuff happened, you know, with lockdown and everything, I kind of had it in my mind that Breath of the Wild 2 might have been out by Christmas last year, but then, of course, with the pandemic and everything getting delayed, whatever. So, we might see it by the end of this year? I don't know. It's all speculation, really. I don't, I don't know anything about this, but it's fun to speculate sometimes. Some people take it a little too seriously. Speaking of taking things too seriously, Smash Ultimate, that's one of the things that's guaranteed for this. I don't know who it's going to be. If, if they're even announcing a character, maybe they'll announce like a new stage or something, a new feature. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be, so, I'd be totally down for that and no character. You know, <laughs> it's really weird for me to say that, but I mean, I'm not really, uh, there's not really any character realistically that I think would get in that would, I can't really think of anyone I want that would realistically get in. And in terms of people it could be, I mean, you know, there's always the the obvious choices, like Dante, Crash, whatever, all that kind of stuff. I don't know who it's going to be. I know a lot of people are be, being kind of like, it's going to be another Pokemon, and I'm going to be mad. And it's like, I don't know. Like, do y'all do you really think they'll add a Gen 8 Pokemon Maybe. Considering Nintendo made the choice for the characters, that's always a possibility. In fact, yeah. It, it could be. But I don't know. I just don't know. And I mean, I like Pokemon. I wouldn't be upset. I like having more Pokemon. But I can understand why people would be kind of upset, because there are a lot of Pokemon. But I'd be fine with it. You know, again, I like Pokemon. If there, if I had to think of one character, at least that comes to mind, that I would be, act, I would just be like, oh, at, it would probably be a Monster Hunter rep. Just because I am not really at all into Monster Hunter. I know a lot of people like it. I know it's really good, but it's, it is just not for me. And a Monster Hunter character getting in would not really excite me that much at all, really. But, uh, I don't know. So, we've got about a minute or less left for waiting for this. I will not be looking at the live chat. Why would I? Uh, on the YouTube stream. I'm looking at my Twitch chat, of course. But, uh... Yeah. Just about time. It's exciting. It's been a while since I've been able to... It's been a while since we've been able to watch one of these. It's good. And just in time for me to actually, you know, react to it with a webcam. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. I even have the, uh, I even have the cardboard drums. Here we go. And, yeah, of course, delays and... All that stuff's good. Make, make, gonna make sure the audio is right. Is 
Zelda. Never mind. Oh, Zelda Blade 2. What? Hold up. One day, Pyra just disappeared. I haven't played any Zelda Blade games yet. I should, though. So is this a sequel thing, or is it going to be more DLC? Like, uh, the, the Torna thing, which I heard was really good? But yeah, seeing, uh, seeing Rex and Zenoblade 2 stuff, that surprised me. I did not see any of that coming. It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Without a trace. Where have you gone? I'll find you, whatever it takes. This is where you were. Pyra! Sorry. I kind of figured, yeah. <laughs> ah. Good. I got Good bait. To join Wait, no. All right. Yeah, sure. Wait, just Pyro? I was going to be in smash. Right. Oh. Leave it to me, Rex. Behold the power of the Aegis. Yeah, that's cool. Sure, sure. Zonable 2. It was a bit of a shame that Rex didn't get in and he got that me costume instead with the DLC pack one. So this is cool. Owning them. There are no pushovers. This is a cool trailer. And then Mithra. Or, yeah. Mithra? Let me handle this. Oh, that means Mithra's in Smash too. Oh shit. Alright. Cutting it close, huh? Hey, were these guys planning on leaving? Gee, I feel kind of bad now. Coming through! Yeah, this looks cool. Unfortunately, now I'm gonna have to go on Twitter and see everyone complain about another sword fighter, but. <laughs> it is what it is. Between Hold up. Wait a minute. Together, nothing can stand our way. Oh, great. So we get another character that could switch between another character whenever. Although I guess it makes sense because they're pretty similar play styles, probably. The absolute disrespect to Rex, though. Oh, okay, okay, he's in the final smash. Sure enough. Shulk? I never expected to see you two again. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you. Ooh, fighting words. You forget. We're fighters too! Yeah, that's cool. I still I still do need to get around to Xenoblade, any of them really. It, it was good that they didn't show there was a smash announcement first, because everyone would have seen it coming. It's been a while. That, that was a good one. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. It was an experiment, However, wasn't it? We haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. I'm trying not to bend the cardboard. 
too bad. Okay. What you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Yeah, Pyra and Mithra as a duo. That's really cool. I thought they would just do like Rex and then they would also like sort of appear side by side, but that's. I kind of like this a little more, even if it's a bit of a shame for Rex. Just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Fall man. Wait, wasn't it? I thought it was already on Switch. <laughs> this goes to show what I know about this game. They probably put more effort into making the Switch port than they did for making more games to keep things interesting. Oh, well, that, that, that's me being pessimistic about it. I never actually played Fall Guys. It looked fun, though. I, I did want to try it out. I just didn't want to... Stumble toward greatness when it was just never something I wanted to get myself. To the Nintendo Switch system, summer 2021. Summer. Oh. <laughs> okay. You have 22 minutes oh, Outer Wilds. Solar system I heard this is, is really good. I, actually, I, I heard this really good venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization you have 22 minutes after that the sun will explode and bpm the you have 22 minutes however everything will reset i'm thankful that i haven't been to continue exploring too spoiled by this game i've seen some gather. gameplay of it i've seen a bit of a stream of it but this looks like something i might enjoy by repeating these cycles you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out. There's just a lot of things you gotta ask about life that you're not gonna be able to understand. That's what makes it so wild. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom, Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind, two deep cuts from Nintendo history, are coming to North America for the first time. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense. So this was originally on the turns away Famicom? Every corner. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep... Wait, is this like an, an actual like first-party Nintendo game? game? You'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. But that's not the only case to crack. In the other game, You'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. I like the style of it. Figure out who the culprit is before. It's sort of it's a nice middle ground between visual novel and anime. I, I mean, as if visual novels aren't anime enough, but like, you know, from like the sort of staticness of a visual novel and. Actual Uncover the deadly truth in Family Movement Detective Club, the missing heir. <laughs> that, and you, you, know, you know what Club, I mean, right? The girl who stands behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. That seems cool. Begin today on Nintendo eShop. A new age of battles begins. Dynasty Warriors? Or Nobunaga's Ambition? <laughs> Samurai Warriors 5. I think I've heard of Samurai Warriors. The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise I mean, is not Dynasty Nintendo Warriors, Switch. but close enough. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. 
character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying 1 versus 1000 battles. In Samurai Warriors 5, slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. All right. Not bad. Good stuff. The vast world of Fadiel beckons. Fadiel, you say. After 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring remastered HD oh, graphics Legend of is Mana. coming to Nintendo Switch. Cool. It's nice seeing You'll them do more with the Mana series, find the mystical even mana if I haven't played any dream. of them. Before discovering I, the world this, map, this isn't the first empty. Mana game. During this is the travels, fourth one? Special items called artifacts. Yeah, I think this is like the Place fourth or the fifth the Mana game. I hear this is where the series kind of started to dip a little in quality. It's At least from what I've heard. I really don't know anything after. I, I only know Secret of Mana and Trials story. of Mana, or Second and Setsu 3 or whatever. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version. And you can alter it's nice seeing them the do the series, the original not just to bring it more added, to people's attention by actually doing stuff with it, like with the collection of mana the and game, the Trials of Mana, the Trials of Mana remake. Legend of Mana will launch but also because they did that Secret of Mana remake that was kind of crap, and then they actually like did the Trials of Mana pretty well. Monster Hunter, I'm gonna keep talking about Trials. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna keep talking about the Mana series. But like, you know, and the after, cause like people were actually like, you know, rightfully upset about the Secret of Mana thing. So they actually tried to do Trials of Mana right, and it actually was pretty good. And then the collection of mana, and actually finally localizing Second Setsu 3 along with actually remaking it. And now they're doing that with uh, Legend of Mana. That's nice to see. It's nice to see them do more of it. But yes, this is the Monster Hunter portion of the direct where I say nothing. Elder, I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Fifty years ago, Kamura Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter's about to face the biggest challenge no, yet! No. no! We can't lose this game! Pull yourselves together! You're not getting in! Let's go! It looks nice, so I'll give it that. I mean, this is supposed to be a Switch game, right? I've actually, and I've seen some of the demo actually, and I'm really surprised with how well it looks and runs on the Switch. Like Capcom are, they know their shit. Like they can optimize the game. How long do you think it's going to last? Inoa. We should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance. We must stop the calamity. Calamity, you say? That's kind of a nice pro controller. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Next, please take a look at this. All right, good sign, good sign. All right, what do you, hey, Mar what, what the fuck, Mario Golf? All right, okay, I, I need to mention this. For whatever reason, I heard Mario Golf being mentioned a lot after the Nintendo Direct got announced. Like, for whatever reason, I just heard people talk about it or mention it, and like, what if they introduce new Mario Golf? And here it is! What the fuck? Like, what good timing. 
Enjoy golfing with familiar and it's the first time we've actually gotten a Mario characters. Golf game on a console since the GameCube. Although we have had uh, we had that uh, the 3DS game, which I heard was really good. Use features so. on the greens, like a shot yeah, it's game. nice to see this back. See how your shot will curve due to slopes, and a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These Not sure if it's something I'll get. I mean, I got Mario Tennis Aces, so maybe, but... In addition to button yeah. controls, Mario Golf. I'm always, always up for that. By holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game. Letting you easily swing. enjoy oh. the sensation of golfing. Oh, oh look at that. You get to move that. around. There are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf. Including this one, Speed Golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. I'm kind Give of really into that. To get it closer to the hole, Hang on. Then keep going. I might actually have to get this. Your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. You ever play speed pool? It's a lot like this. Special shots to beat Is it like this? And you, you just this like sl oh, <laughs> pool cues everywhere. Story mode. As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills talking, like, while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Older story modes or like Mario Tennis Aces story mode, then, which is still alright. Points to different stats. Allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Of Put course. Your golfing yeah. skills to the test when Mario Golf Super June. Rush swings on to Nintendo Switch All right. June 25th. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop yeah. after this Solid. presentation. Looking forward to that. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds You like golfing, don't you, Nintendo fans? As well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy-to-learn controls. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Oh boy, sizzle reel. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. No Play thanks. The Hyperion lackey Reese and the quick-witted con artist Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch, March 24th. Okay. 32 of Capcom's most beloved arcade this looks classics nice. are coming to Nintendo Switch. Rewind gameplay. Oh, it's nice seeing arcade collections. And, and like specifically arcade, not just games that were in the arcade, arcade but it's like goodness. the NES version in of them. The but actually the arcade version of it. Standalone ghosts nice. and goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is also available. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. Oh, good really state. Brains. Oh. As a zombie, you just can't get enough. Oh, I've heard of this, this game. Action game from Aspire. You'll build this your is, This was from a while ago, wasn't it? In the city by turning humans into your undead allies. I heard this was fun. your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubbs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. There's so much, there's so many games on the Switch. Nintendo Switch does Travis indeed have games, including No More Assassin. Heroes 3, let's go. Wait, all right, all right. Aliens Come on, baby, give me that release date. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway. After annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crowd oh, he's got Joy-Cons on, on his arm. Travis nice. Touchdown. You'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. Fine, I guess. A slew of unusual opponents. I mean, it was nice Most not having to do them in No More Heroes 2, but it did kind of help break up the pace of the first game. To gain the upper hand in combat. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake, so get ready to kick some, uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick. 
Anyway, Hold. it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or August. You know, okay. Nintendo Switch, that, that, that's August 27th. Okay. That gives me good enough time to actually be able to buy it. That's cool. Exterminate demons in he heaven. As above, Angel demons. So below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Steve Bloom. Oh, this is a f this is a fun looking run gun. Wait a minute, is this like a <laughs> is this like a Kingdom Hearts uh, chain of memories style of first person shooter? It's kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. That looks interesting. All right, I'm, I'm down with it. Ben Esposito. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. AKA Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and bat hook. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision, plus super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school lives. And trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. Hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. We've just got to make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC Superhero Girls Team Power heroically soars onto Nintendo Switch. I could hear the disappointment in his voice. Ready the juice Mushroom. cannons and prepare for battle. Mushroom web. And it's it's garden, it's zombies. Garden versus zombies. Yes, yes. Is this the a third entry, or are they just porting one or two? Complete edition. Okay. I saw the 2021. I'm like, oh wow, that's coming out in a year. This music wouldn't be, uh, what, what do you say, DMCA-able. Like, we're, we're fine here, right? Nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Uh... Just be safe, you know. So two sleepers in a row, all right. Nothing to worry about. I mean, okay, not the the plan the, the shooter plants versus zombies games are bad. I've heard they're decent enough, but I have no interest in it. Metopia! Join you in your adventure. And then this is what gets me excited. <laughs> oh, wait, is this just a port? On a quest to face evil and save faces. Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. I think it's just a port. Oh well. I love this game on the 3DS. It's not a great game, admittedly. I just, I had such a good time with it. And being on the Switch is nice. I would have liked the sequel, but this is good. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Ooh. Clam up your mies and get them ready for adventure. Added customization is always nice. Also a new wig feature. All right. Go wild with your me creations and make them even. Yeah, that's pretty nice. This is a game that definitely benefits from that too. I love the soundtrack in this game, by the way. Really good. One of my relationships are key. 
so consider spending some quality just time some surprisingly good music bonds. not like amazing but like, re very solid advantage during battle if your relationship sour though things might take a turn for the worse whoa horse you can have a horse as an ally that sounds pretty barn good care for it and it'll lend a hand or poof in battle <gasps> Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp. I want to know how much Nintendo new is in this because I might pick it up. Pre -orders begin I really, I really Nintendo did love Metopia. So if there's enough new, I might uh, buy again. But uh, you know what would be also nice? Ooh. Super Mario themed items are okay. coming to your island. But you know, speaking of Metopia, I would also, you know, a Tomodachi Life sequel, that'd be, that'd be Super Mario legit. I would love that. Items are coming to the Animal Crossing I, I love those kind game. of me styles of games. Familiar items like the super mushroom and the question block can be ordered in game as furniture items. I can. So play some you can walk under them. That's cool. Like. It's been a minute since I played New Horizons. Oh shit! You can actually use the warp pipes. Then use them to. Oh, that's awesome. On your <laughs> that's really cool. Hey, why not try recreating the mushroom kingdom? And Peach with a phone, yes. I remember that Free specifically from, from Mario and Louis, I mean Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, yes. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March first. Legit warp Keep points. An eye on the That's so cool. Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. When I get back to it, yes. When I will, who knows? I kind of These do. collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. But that was last year. Which, last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. I thought I was running a watch. Month and a half left Mario until Mario dies. Next, we have another game to show you. Odyssey 2. This is not Mario. <laughs> uh, Octopath Traveler 2? Just a shot in the dark? In the HT Do 2D series. He leaves us no recourse. Swords. Okay, so yes, but no. S. Frost will answer for its crimes today. Are these the wages of loyalty? Raised earth and burnt corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed. Wait a minute. Is this a? Is this a tactical RPG? Ooh. Hang on. Today you burn. I'm kind of into that. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely. Every last. I didn't get Octopath Traveler. Uh, it, it looked cool, but not exactly my thing. This I I might have to stretch for. Prized of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict. Imagine having a problem salt finding anymore. salt nowadays. Though the hostilities ceased with an uneasy truce, decades later the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remains. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? <laughs> you see that guy's head? In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. A character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. Of course, the yeah. range can be extended by attacking So is this more Final Fantasy, Fantasy Tactics or more Fire Emblem? Because if it's more Fire Emblem, uh, my but interest goes a little down. Can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. An enemy outflanked is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? 
charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. That's cool. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Environmental stuff. Then electrify the area with lightning magic. It is of the utmost importance to survey the battlefield before taking action. Yeah, this this looks cool. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds. I will focus on none of those. Will join your cause. I got to stay true to myself, you know. Once more, I would ask you plainly do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. Yes, but do I believe you? Do you know how many games ha have like your uh, your choices matter thing when they really fucking don't? Decisions are made. Your journey may take you down paths. It's a bold claim to make. Those of other players. You will see what true might is. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical It does RPG look good though. I'll I'll keep an eye on this one. In 2022, please be on the I've got the time to wait for it. Information in the future. After this presentation, a demo version of this game will be available to download on Nintendo eShop. And in the I'm future, to play that. conduct a survey to gather player feedback. When? I don't know, but I'm going to have to play it. Your responses on the demo. And that's cool because they did that with Octopath too, and they actually changed stuff from the demo that people had mentioned. So that's cool. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Calling all hunters. Star Wars. Do you have what it takes? Lego Star Wars? No. The, the Stormtrooper helmet kind of looked like a Lego piece. I don't know. Hunters. Ah, yes, that tells me a lot about the game. Thank you. Thank you, Lucasfilms. Star Wars Hunters is a competitive, free-to-play online game set between episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo I, I don't need Switch that. No, thank you. None of that sounded appealing. All right, let's do this. Fortnite. Do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews. EA. Once again, interest gone. Reasons. Corgan love battle. Gorgon used many weapons. Triple-bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul-devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. My line of work? Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I feel that. I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Corgan want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. Oh, it's a dodgeball game. Okay. Over. Oh, come on, man, one more game. 
It looks fine, I guess. Whatever. The fight for survival starts now. Hang on tight, cause you're all going to play. Wasn't this, wasn't this made by the same people who did uh, the of the Dangarampa and Zero Escape? And Zero Escape series comes a fight yeah. for your life. <laughs> I'm right, yeah. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game Team Go-Getters from Pokemon lives. Mystery Dungeon? I don't want to die yet! You will. The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. Be the one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club. Venturing onto Nintendo Switch, May 28th. Okay. I might check that out. Wield the powers Hades. Of Olympus with the oh, physical a physical release. release. Okay, because I'm like, isn't it already on Switch? Hades, the critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient Gotta get to this one, too. Another, again, again, another game I haven't played that I need to. Switch. That looks nice. Comes with a couple of I've heard nothing but good things about Hades. I've heard some of the music, too. I mean, the from the gameplay, it looks fun. I'm, I'm kind of a little iffy on, like, isometric-style games, but this one does look fun. Music composed by Darren the music, actually, you know, speaking of which, I've, the stuff I've heard is really good, so... The second is a 32-page full-color character compendium. I don't know if I get it physically, but I, I do want to get this game eventually. It looks like a lot of fun. art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. Cool. Three deadly action games. Oh, One Shinobi, I mean, uh, collection. Ninja Gaiden Collection. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. Wait, but why did they drop the Sigma name on the third one? You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with different set of I've heard these games are balls hard. Ruthless like, really difficult stuff. Not sure if they've interested me, but I, I wouldn't mind playing them. Combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Maybe was that Dante? Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja hey, hey, uh, speaking speaking of collections, you got you got any more of those? Maybe, maybe some some nice collections. You got any of those? Like for first party Nintendo games, maybe? Oh, hey, Zelda. Oh, great, it's getting DLC. Who saw this coming? I mean, appropriate. I mean, I'm streaming it right now. Should have been streaming it today, but oh well. Uh, DLC, that's cool. Please don't spoil the game yet. Don't spoil any characters I haven't played yet. Playable Pyrrha? That'd be nice. And Ronnie. Just an expansion pass. Okay. Or Robbie. Expanded roster, weapon type, challenges. Alright. Nice. That'll be good to look forward to later. To Nintendo Switch. Like what? Bravely Default 2. I have the first game on 3DS, got that a couple, like a month or so ago. I'm gonna get through that before I even think about touching this. It does look a little better than last time I saw it. Never mind. <laughs> okay, it... it it's got its, it's got its moments. Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. Wait, following this presentation? Th also available. Why not to show it? Maybe it's long, the I don't know. installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. 
As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash this looks cool, but I'm good. I don't need to play Ghosts and Goblins anytime soon. Stages within the demon realm. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur this is a really nice looking uh, redo of this game. Carry for defense, carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Are those flying Ghosts burritos. Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Eight protagonists. Eight captivating journeys. The saga games. The saga frontier has been the saga games look cool to me. I, I want I want to give those a shot someday. World with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches. The April art style of this game just screams like PS1, it's like a Saturn. Storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. This free -to -play Again, this was not already on the Switch. Roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play. Apex and Legends seems fun. Nintendo Switch Never played it. All new legendary power I'm a little more interested in Titanfall 2, but even then, I'd like to play that, but I don't have a console I can play it. And to get it on my PC, I'd have to get uh, Activision or EA, whoever owns it. I'd have to get their launcher, and I don't fucking want that. Like it's on Steam, but you still have to get the launcher or account or whatever. It's ridiculous. How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Yeah, we got like nine minutes. We're good. So we hope you'll stick with us. Next, what you've got? Please take a look at this. My lips are so dry. Zelda. Oh, Breath of the Wild 2. Here we go. Here we go. The Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Damn it. Development is proceeding <laughs> smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. All right, that's cool. All right, now, that's fine. I have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. Yeah, that's fine. While Even just addressing it, it's cool. This Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Skyward Sword. Please take a look. Skyward Sword. Or Four Sword Adventures. Yep, Skyward Sword. Easy call. Now look. I know a lot of people are down on Skyward Sword. I mean, even me, I would say it's probably my least favorite 3D Zelda. It's still a great fucking game. I still really love Skyward Sword. It's one of the few games where immediately after beating it, I played through it almost immediately again. And I don't regret it. I just wonder what they're going to do for this port. Like, how, how far does the remaster go? Is it going to be more like Windbreaker HD or Twilight Princess HD? What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Fucking called it! This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured Although, yeah, scheme, uh, Four Sword Adventures would also probably be nice, you know, online sword, connectivity and all that instead of game link cables. One day. Processing power of the Nintendo this is more... System, the one day, but this is what I, what I was a little more into, so... And we've recreated the controls for the Sword and the Shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the Hey, sword. look at that! The motion controls are actually Bring working on the presentation. Swing his sword in the game. <laughs> It looks, this looks really nice in 60 FPS. Is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. Actually, yeah, the game is just looking really nice. Like, using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. like it still looks These like Sky it still looks like I remember Skyward Sword does, but like just really but clean and smooth. Also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in And everyone breathes a sigh lights. of relief. After mulling over how to assign Except for me cuz I didn't really care. I enjoyed the buttons. motion controls. We decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally. Just I think I've seen some games direction. do that before. Uh, I guess Metal Gear Rising has kind of done that. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. 
Oh, those are the clean. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield motif. Yeah, those are nice. Legend of Zelda those are nice. Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline. We don't talk the about the timeline here on this stream. The Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of the Legend of Zelda. July. Legend of Zelda All right. Skyward Sword HD is there anything July uh, more added, or is it just the game and Following new controls? Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop, and the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local. Because if it's just the same game again, I probably won't get this. this. But the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of the Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Using the sailcloth to descend in midair. And I mean, Skyward Sword's still a, a good game. I still really like it. You scaled walls with vines or ran. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. I hope those of you who I did really like upgrading the items in that game. Will give this game a try as well. Although the whole collecting items thing, that was technically done in spirit checks first to upgrade your train. But I see what you mean. Please look forward to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Well, looks like we only got time for one more thing. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay. Maybe this will finally bring Skyward Sword into a more well-liked uh, air, I suppose. Mario. F-Zero. Pokemon. Splatoon! Yo! Alright, Splatoon 3, let's go. I'm excited for this. A lot of new eye styles, too. Good amount of hairstyles, alright. More legwear, cool. L little tiny salmon fella. Little buddies. <laughs> this looks fucking cool. I hope this I hope this sort of takes over uh after Octo Expansion because I loved Octo Expansion. If we get more single player stuff like that, I am so excited for this. And I mean, after Splatoon 2, can you, I mean, they've, they've got multiplayer down. I'm not worried about that. In a desert, though, that's okay. I, I hope we get to know a lot about this. I'm actually, I'm actually super excited for this. Oh, is this like a desert town? Time to go back to the old squid life. Whoa! Is this what chaos yields? <gasps> Soccer crab! Was that the Ink Bazooka? From Splatoon 1? Oh, I loved that weapon! Back into the ink, baby. Next year. Oh, oh well.
oddly what ambient you just at the end there. Seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay oh, well. tuned for more information. It's cool, no, it's cool no that we're getting Splatoon soon, though. I say soon, and that's like Today, a year away. We showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. I hope they do enough uh, different with it or new with and it look to, to sharing more news with you in the future. Make it more that's fresh. For today's Nintendo Direct. Maybe that's why they're taking the time Thank with it. And that's fine. It's been like what five years since Splatoon Two. They'll have. It'll be like five years. They'll have the time for it. And that's the end. That's how they ended off with Splatoon Three. Good thing that ended off on. Uh, that's a good direct. I feel like. I feel like it wasn't like the best direct ever, but it was it was good, I think. Although I do think that because it wasn't like the best direct ever, and after like a year and a half of no regular directs, people are gonna be pretty disappointed. But I mean, hey, we got a new Mario Golf game that looks really good. Splatoon 3. Yes. It's gonna take a while, but still. No more heroes three got announced for August. That's good. Skyward Sword HD called it. Kind of figured it would happen, but it's nice to see. Um, Pyro and Mithra and Smash. Nothing too exciting for me, but that's that's cool. It's nice to see. Uh, what else was there? I know there was more. Uh, that uh, the tactical RPG from the Octopath guys that looks good. Yeah, I th I think it was a. A good direct. Just just good. Not that amazing, but good. It was enjoyable. Except for the, that one bit where I had where there were the two sleepers in a row. That was a little awkward. But uh, other than that, pretty good. Pretty good. So I guess that's it. Yeah. Ten direct done. Uh... And with the Nintendo Direct done, that's actually going to be the stream. So, you know, I, I, I'm a little, I, I don't mind being on a camera, as I've found out. This is fine. I like doing this. I think it gives me a little more option for my comment, a little more range for my commentary, some extra body motions going along with that. It's nice. I like it. Good time with the Direct, good time with Hat in Time, which I will be continuing tomorrow because it's Tuesday and Thursday, and uh, I guess that just means I'll only be streaming Hyrule Warriors and Paper Mario twice this week. But that will be back on Friday, I promise. This is the only change to the schedule. It's otherwise normal, I swear. <laughs> and that'll be at our usual time as well as Hat in Time and hopefully Pikmin 3 Deluxe tomorrow at our usual times of 12 to 1.30. If you need to know exactly when we go live, you can always follow the channel or and, and turn on notifications or follow my twitch page where i post every time i go live you need to see any previous games i've played we have zeta streams 966 mod the youtube archive channel where i host every previous stream i've done and any other links you may need are also on the channel or below on my twitch page with all that said and done thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed yourself i hope you're excited for some of the games you saw in this direct and have a great day How am I going to end this without just yeah yeah just just move the hand mhm mm mhm mm go to go to go to stop stream don't hit record eh eh